thrilling detective story, a cloak and dagger action and a romantic drama, all these stories were taken from real life. The history of Kazakhstan is inseparable from the world history. Reflections on history, our version. Symbol of the sun. Down below, deep rivers were flowing and the blue of the sky was enchanting. When he was standing on top of the mountain, it seemed that the eternal sun had been caught in his horns. Apparently, this is an image of an Argali. Here they are next to each other. Here we can see a contour circle, the diameter of which is crossed with a hook-shaped line. Is it a kind of solar symbol? Well, that's a good question. Of course, the first thing I can think of is a solar symbol, but it may also be a lunar one. The crossed circle or killed moon is also a sign of time. The sun and time converged in it. Our galley is an ancient Eurasian symbol. Back then, the sky and nature were both different. People thought of everything happening around them in a different way, too. Those who lived in the mountains were engaged in sheep farming. Of course, they considered sheep and goats totem animals. This Altai Agali is the largest one. They can weigh up to 200 kilograms. Chapter 1. Pioneer in Worlds when exactly did it happen and which animal was first? There were not many to choose from. Apparently a dog was the first and was closely followed by a cow, goat and sheep. It happened approximately 10 to 13,000 years ago. Goats were the first animals to be domesticated in the Middle East. They were domesticated in the mountains in approximately the same period that the first cereal crops appeared. Goats and sheep are considered guides of progress. They played an important part in the Industrial Revolution. However, their origins are different animals, which lived in the same area. A mountain sheep breed, the Mouflon, was the ancestor of the modern sheep, while a Bezoa ibex is the ancestor of goats. In addition, goats were domesticated a bit later. A thousand years later, to be exact. Since that time, these animals had always accompanied nomads. Moreover, the need to find new pastures led to new nomadic lifestyles. The nomadic lifestyle has contributed to the continuous revitalization of humanity and progress. Cattle played a very important role in the life of the Kazakhs. Cattle provided them with food, clothes and footwear. In ancient times, a ram was always a positive symbol. Unlike a goat, which according to some beliefs was associated with Satan, a ram symbolized fertility and royalty. For instance, its horns decorated the helmet of Alexander the Great. According to ancient legends, a sheep was created from the fire and sky, while a mountain goat was created from stone. Primarily, mythology is world outlook and cosmology. It's the science fiction of ancient people. It demonstrates how they understood nature, the environment, sky, earth, etc. Which means that mythology is closely related to space. Our galley are considered most closely related to space. They're a mountain ram, they are strong artiodactyla, but they've become rare. They measure 1.5 meters at the withers, their body length is up to 2 meters, and they can weigh over 200 kilograms. An Altai Argali was the largest one. It was almost as large as a Siberian deer. In addition, it was the strongest animal in the Altai high mountain regions and southern slopes. They lived in meadows and open areas, but not in forests. The skull of the largest Argali killed in 1907 in Katon Karagai can be seen in St. Petersburg Institute of Zoology. 
The height of that giant was almost three meters, including horns, of course. Perhaps the nature itself helps to increase the population of these animals dwelling here, in the Altai. It was said that these animals had such qualities as determination, superiority, purposefulness and courage. Argali enters the whole system of animal world as a strong representative and leader. I mean it's a strong animal, moving in leaps. Of course it's one of the heroes. This solar symbol was spread widely from the Pacific Ocean to the Mediterranean Sea. Ancient Egyptian god Ra appeared as a ram, as did the Indian god Indra. The ancient Greek god Zeus was often depicted having ram's horns and rams pulled the sled of Scandinavian god of thunder, Thor. The Kazakhs often considered the ram a sacred animal. It symbolized the middle world, earthly life and was a pure being. A tradition according to which the head of a ram is given to honored guests can also be traced back to ancient times. If a Kazakh's father was still alive, he wasn't allowed to take a ram's head in his arms. If his father was still alive and a ram's head was served on a dish, he couldn't take it. A head was given to the most important person. Ribs were associated with peaceful life and the pelvic bone with prosperity. Each part was given in a certain order. Butchering a ram is a ritual related to the origins of life and order emerging from chaos. Moreover, according to Kazakh beliefs, rams are the only animal which has been to paradise. Chapter 2. Sent down by gods. Sacrifices were performed to atone for sins. A ritual knife from ancient times dating from approximately 5,000 years ago was found in Botai settlement, while these sacrificial stones with heads of mountain goats date from a later period. Well, they didn't have just one function. During the Saka period, they were used in everyday life too. However, our galley could be the main totem. It was a totemic animal. A sheep is the most common sacrificial animal, which was offered by many peoples. The color of a sheep offered as a sacrifice was also important. White sheep were offered to the gods of the sky, wind and sun. Black ones were for the dark gods and gods of the underworld. The goat is inverted here. All inverted images, including upside down symbols, are associated with lifeless energy. Most probably this was how our ancestors depicted sacrificial animals. Images of sheep and their relatives date from the earliest periods of ancient art. It was a solar deity because a goat or Pushan, yes it was called a Pushan, was the embodiment of the strength and power of the sun and solar core. I mean the strength and power of the solar core. Do you mean our galley? Yes, it's a mountain goat. This is the reason why we often find these images among cave drawings. In ancient times it was believed that sacrificial rituals provided universal fertility, including aiding cattle reproduction, birth of children, the continuous movement of the world and the change from night to day. The world reveals itself as Mother Earth, with its immense areas where everything is blossoming. Then gradually it begins to fade away and comes to an end. Nomads are waiting for the time of revival, when everything will be in blossom again. These are their philosophical values. The philosophical values are interwoven with folk art. Patterns on Sermak, which is a patterned Kazakh carpet, look like curled horns. Koshkar Muiz translates as ram's horn, and it's the most popular pattern on Kazakh arts and crafts. The images of two horned ungulates standing on the opposite sides of the world tree are a symbol of abundance known to all the Eurasian nomads. 
Chapter 3 Guardian of the Bound Probably just a part of a large composition has remained because a piece of it was lost. And here we can see three goats, three Argali, going west. So there is the first Argali, the second and the third. Yes? Is it important that they're moving in a certain direction? I think it's important. They're going west where the sun sets. Where else can solar gods or their earthly embodiments go? Moreover, it's not a coincidence that there are three of them. According to an ancient Greek legend, he was a handsome giant and brilliant hunter. Once chasing an animal, he turned into a constellation. The Asian version differs from the Greek one. According to this, a good hunter was chasing three Argali, and when he almost caught up with them, the Argali sprouted wings and flew away. Argali live here very well. From that time, he chased them in the starry sky. This is a legend about Orion constellation, or the Three Argali, Ush Akhar Tarazi. People worshipped the sun, sky and earth during the period of shamanism, and mountain Argali were considered the animal which was closest to God. It could go up the mountain and reach the sky with its horns. The universe surrounding people always attracted nomads. It's one of the most beautiful constellations. There's a large rectangle, irregular in shape, inside of which are three bright stars form Orion's belt. They are also called three wise men. They resemble the pyramids of Giza. It was thought that this constellation was the guardian of time at the turn of the centuries of the universe. Incidentally, Orion translates from Greek as the guardian of the bound, the sky hunter. Night chases solar deities and they disappear at sunset. It wasn't just an aspiration to join with this universe, but certain attributes needed to unite with the unknown world, which aroused interest and determined the people's future were developed. In ancient times, people believed that sheep could forecast weather and attract luck. Their bones and leather were used to make medicine, which was used to expel evil spirits and tell fortunes. It was thought that a breastbone and a ram's right scapula were the most suitable for these purposes. The ram's scapula, fortune-telling, has been known since the Hun period. According to other sources, it was known much earlier, from the Neolithic period. Since then, many nations have practiced it. It's also known as oracle's bones. Ram's scapula, being the shape of a triangle, is also a talisman, which protects and gives strength. The triangle is the basis of the world creation. A person is the pinnacle of this world creation. I am the pinnacle, which includes both male and female origin. Trying to understand the laws of the universe, a sorcerer heated a scapula in the fire and forecast the future according to the cracks which appeared on it. It was connected to the belief that a ram was a symbol of the fire of the earthly world. It helped to uncover the secrets of the world and understand people's future. Epilogue. Inspiring hopes. Here we can see a hemispherical shape and the mountain goat. Its legs, horns and even pupils are shown. At first sight, it seems that this is a hemisphere. But in fact, these are the horns of the ram. Its horn is here. It seems that this winged animal is sitting. It's a mythical goat with wings. This mythological winged animal can fly to the sky and change the flow of life for the better. The ram opens a new cycle of light. Spring comes, and Nowriz is celebrated. The light, beautiful and powerful essence welcomes new and unknown beginnings. It's like the sun or sun deity lighting the way forward for the nomads living in the steppe. He's not only a solar symbol, but also symbolizes unity and harmony. His horns are like two crescents. According to ancient legends, the sun clings to his horns and he leads it across the sky. 
In general, everything happens in accordance with an ancient Kazakh fairy tale about night and day. The white ram has left, but the black one has remained. Again and again, it's the eternal cycle of life.